Residents explained to OMN that locals are demanding political prisoners such as Dr. Marara Guddina and others be released and for the government to end unfair tax increases. Locals have closed businesses and transportation services as a symbol of resistance against the tax hikes. It is to be recalled that these neighbouring cities are historical Oromo cities that trailblazed the Oromo protests. The Ethiopian government initiated cross border attacks by the Somali Regional Special Police Forces has continued against the innocent Oromo civilians in East Hararge, Chinaksan district. Areas such as Huluko, Darimu, Koradawe, and Salmalen have been captured by the Somali Special Police. Chinaksan district is one of the heavily hit districts by these cross border attacks. One resident explains that Oromo residents have fought back and one Oromo civilian has died and two have been severely injured. Five deaths have also been reported from the Somali Special Police Force. Due to extreme weather conditions, the drought in South Oromia, Borana, has affected many herders and livestock. 33 districts in this area have been affected and residents informed OMN that local and federal governments have refused to provide any kind of humanitarian assistance. Instead, are instigating cross-border conflicts by arming Somali Regional Special Police Force. In East Hararge Umbi district, Hariro city, Ethiopian military had opened fire to a vehicle and popped the tires. According to eyewitness accounts, the Oromo youth of this city had confronted the Ethiopian military and three Oromo youth have been seriously injured. They are Mahmoud Mohamed Abdi, Orane Bakari and Nazir Ibro. Residents explain there is no logic behind the attack on this vehicle, only that the owner is an Oromo person. The city of Hariro is infiltrated by many military forces. The Ethiopian High Federal Court has yet again postponed the court date for Bakala Garba and colleagues, with no satisfactory explanation. Oromo protests across the country have continued to voice their concerns about political prisoners such as Dr. Marara Guddina, Bakala Garba and many others. Residents in West Hararge, Darolabu district, Machara city have closed businesses in resistance to the increased taxes. Residents have explained to Oomen that locals are tired of the continuous false promises made by the government. Some of these promises include building proper facilities such as hospitals and clinics to serve the population. Darolabu district is one of the main coffee producers and in one year alone, 3,600 tons of coffee was exported to Diredawa. In eastern Oromia, West Hararge, Mieso district, Ethiopian government is confiscating land from Oromo owners and giving it to neighbouring Somali authorities. Residents explain that this is an ongoing tactic by the Ethiopian government to instigate conflict between the Oromos and Somalis. Residents have opposed these unfair rulings. Oromo residents living in and around Adarebiyo also known as Harar City, are complaining of the systematic elimination of the Oromo language and culture from this city. A resident explains, the Harari ethnic group is a small ethnic group and due to their affiliation with the Ethiopian government have been successful in ridding the Oromo language from many service facilities and replacing it with Harari. This resident further elaborates, the Oromos in this area are a majority and require the working language of facilities to be in Afan Oromo. Over 30 Muslim worshippers, including the Imam, the leader of the congregation, have been arrested and imprisoned from a mosque in Adama City, suburb 01. Oman spoke with mosque representatives and they responded, there is no explanation for these arrests and that the local Ethiopian authorities had ordered the minaret, the tall area of the mosque, where the call to prayer is made, to be demolished. There is no legitimate reason for this place of worship to be targeted. Thank you for watching. Take care. We hope to see you next time.